the Injora inserts. These things are pretty popular, okay? We got the green, which is like they're soft, the blue, which is the medium, and the red, which is the hard. Now, I got three brand new sets of J Concepts Megalithics, and I looked for, I couldn't find the right combination of wheels, but I found close to it through the Power Hobby Wheels, the B3 B Locks. Red for red, blue for blue, and I got a little green dot on the silver one for the green. Let's get to the table, I'm gonna show you all this stuff, take them out for a drive, we're testing all three sets. Let's go. Let's get this started, guys. So, the greens, these things are super gummy. And I got a feeling there may be a problem with them. The blue, these are like the medium. These will probably take a good seven, eight pound truck to make them really work right. They feel better than the greens in one way. And then we have the reds. Uh, you're probably going to need a 20 pound truck for these things. Um, these things are stiff. Regarding the green, okay, I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of side roll to these. I mean, this moves quite a bit right here. You can see it squishes pretty darn easy. So I'm kind of thinking that there will be some side roll on these. The reds, there's not going to be any side roll. I don't think there's going to be any roll at all, honestly. The blues, I think, might be your better option, especially for some vehicles that are, you know, seven pounds, eight pounds. I think this right here might be your better option. Now, considering I've got three different sets of tires and all that stuff right here. So I can actually mix and match and move these things around. The wheels are all the same weights. Everything is the same. Let's get into the wheels. Our hobby beadlock wheels right here. I looked for the green, didn't see them, but I did see the red and blue, so I went for it. Um, I do have some green wheels, but they don't match the same width, weight, and all that stuff, and I want everything to be as exactly the same as I could. So everything's got the same inserts or the same, the same exact thing, just a different color. And the tires are all brand new J Concepts Megalithics. Brand spanking new. They still got the shine. This has a green one in it with the silver wheels. I'll put a little green thing on there, but look at this right here. So there's definitely some side shift to it. The softness feels pretty darn good though. And I do have the tires vented. You can see the hole right there. Not bad. I'm just a little bit worried about the side roll. The blue is a lot more firm. So I got a little bit right here and I believe that's part of the design right there. You know, kind of giving a little bit of slop. But the blue actually seems like it's going to hold pretty well. And this right here may actually help it grab. So, we'll see. And here's the red. Now, other than that little gap you have right there, which I just showed you guys, that little design right there, um, I really don't think these are going to flex. Now, as far as side roll goes, once you get past that point right there, uh, there is none. <laughs> none. They say these add some weight, so let's find out. Now, here's a stock foam that come in the tires, 10 grams. This is a Yizzer right here, 32 grams. And I'm measuring grams because it gives me a whole number. And this is a Slime Ball by Flub RC. Yeah, 50 grams here. Now, we're going to start with the easy one here. The green Anjora, 68 grams. The blue Anjora, 70 grams. And the red is 70. So, yeah, they do add a little bit to it, right? Measurements. As far as measurements go, I'm having to use the red one because it's a little bit more firm. I can just about get it. So, you're looking at about 112 millimeters on the OD. On the width of the inside bead lock area, I'm having to use the green one so I can kind of squeeze it down a little bit. The red one doesn't go. So, I'm thinking I'm just about touching on the inside bead lock ring. Just barely touching. About 25 millimeters wide at the inside area width. Sidewall width is about 36.4, about 36. And I believe these are all pretty much the same on that. It's just the green ones. Yeah, about 36. After all that talk, let's take these things outside. Just keep in mind that the silvers are the greens because, I mean, those are obvious and so are those, right? Should be also obvious on how it drives. Let's go. Okay, to get this started, we're trying to go up the ramp. I'm kind of curious about if softer foams hurt it on climbs like this, because this right here could be why 
a lot of people run like a, a stiffer foam in the back. So I'm kind of curious how this is going to work out with the blue and the red. Oh man, that front end is not even hardly staying down. Is that too much? Might be. Oh, barely made it. All right, let's see what these blues have got. Oh, they're a lot stiffer. I can tell you that right now. Nowhere near as much. Wow. Okay. I was kind of thinking maybe these would climb better. Okay, there we go. This is interesting. I did not expect to see this. Come on guys, y'all gotta get up this thing now. There we go, there we go. I was uh, getting a little bit worried there. I'm like, man, what's up with that? All right, now we got some good wrinkle down here. Hooking up. Maybe just took a little bit more to get them to grab. I don't know. Okay, let's see if I get more wheel hop. Oh, wow. Maybe they'll co wow, this is wow, those soft front this is a whole other test in itself right here, man. Look at this. Maybe I gotta spin them a little bit to get the surface off of them. Maybe that's what happened to the blues. Alright, now let's see. Thinking maybe I just had to get the surface off of them to make them pull. Wow. This is not looking good for the reds, at least not on this particular vehicle. We have literally no chance at getting this. Come on, come on. All the way down to the bottom. All right, try to go super slow with it. Not gonna go. Wow, that's huge. One of the biggest things about printed inserts is tire roll. Generally speaking, they don't have tire roll, so we're gonna see what we've got here. Just kind of hold it right there and let's dig in deeper. That's what we're looking at right there with the greens. All right, let's try these blues. Obviously a lot less side roll. All right, let's get a quick peek. Yeah, a lot less side roll on this one. If there's one thing for sure, there should be zero tire roll on these. Oh my goodness, let's dig in. Yeah, very little there. And they're sliding more. Now, general driving, I do prefer a softer insert. Now, just keep in mind that just because I'm running these like this does not mean I'm not going to get to do some experimenting. Since all the wheels, tires, everything are the same, I can simply swap front to back, uh, sauce, mediums, all those, I can swap them around and basically do some testing and stuff. Like maybe put the mediums on the back and the sauce up front. That was a pretty good pull right there. I'm going to try twin ridges as well. But uh, just to do some experimenting and see. I mean, I generally keep the same, from the same stiffness front and back. But a lot of guys run like a soft and a medium. Medium being in the back because when you're on your... When you're climbing the real steep stuff, all the weight's on the back. So 
it makes sense. Just like with the soft ones, when you're driving like this, like, just like I mentioned, I like the tires to absorb stuff, but I think these right here might be a happy medium per se. They look like they're giving just enough to do what they gotta do. You can kind of see a little bit of tire roll on different things. See if we make the nice pull right here. Let me see. Yeah, very nice. So, uh, pretty darn impressed with these, especially for the price point. I'm kind of thinking the greens are where it's at for me, though. Ooh. All right. Now, on the trail, you're driving around. One good thing about having a good stiff insert is efficiency. Now, this vehicle has overdrive, so that efficiency is kind of out the window, but... Let's see if we get any tire conforming at all here. I do see a little bit on the front, but these require a much heavier vehicle. This vehicle, six pounds. So, yeah. Not even hardly any right there either. See if we can make this pull right here. Goodness gracious. I can tell you right now, I'm not a fan of the red ones. Wow, that is too much. <laughs> See if we can get the pull. Put this thing right on up Twin Ridges here. All right, make that connection right there oh there we go get that skid over in and done tires and all that look at that front wrap right there you want some good pulling right there isn't it all right Let's see if I can make the proper pull here yeah, I definitely want to try some of the uh, sauce in the front and the mediums in the rear. Let me see. I was supposed to show you guys the pole of that, wasn't I? Let's see if I can back down here. Let's see here. There we go. So I got some good wrap action going right there. Very nice. Now, they may actually help here as far as like, getting that front tire to hook like that right there and then pulling over. Yeah, I think they did help a little bit right there. Oh, I missed it again. All right, let's see if I can get something here. So I got a little bit there, a little bit. Well, there we go. Now. I do got to tell you guys, I'm going to spend some more time with the greens and the blues, okay? The greens and the blues. I need to put on some green wheels, but I'm going to be spending more time with those. As far as the reds go, probably going to just take them out. I don't know that I have anything heavy enough to really make them perform, okay? Um, on the ramp, man, uh, the greens went up pretty well. Had a little bit of an issue with them, but they went up better than the blues and the reds just didn't have a chance at all so that was really eye-opening to me because i was thinking that the good stiff foam on the back would actually allow it to get up because like where these were rolling i was kind of thinking okay maybe they're rolling and kind of letting loose a little bit but apparently not i might have to do some more testing some forward reverse backwards kind of stuff like this but the red ones, I think they're coming out. I'm going to put a normal set of printed inserts in those. They'll probably go on something else. But regardless of all that, these right here, I am going to continue to mess with uh, greens and blues. Okay. We looked at the side hill. We looked at all that stuff. The greens, although I like the hardness of them, they don't have the side roll ability or stiffness, as you get, I guess you could say, of an actual printed insert. But... They're actually not too bad. 
not too bad at all. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I will link them up down below, including the red ones, because, hey, you may have a 12 or 14 pound truck. The red might be right what you need there, buddy. But guys, have a great day. And um, you know what? Yeah, order the upsize french fries. Have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.